Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry I'm a mess. I was just, I just came in from being outside with my babies and it was started out as like a nice afternoon. It was like 50 something but now it's like in like the 40s and it's starting to get cold so uh, and plus I filmed a cleaning video all day today so if you're interested in that that'll be up on Thursday. Today's Tuesday so that'll be up on Thursday for you. So Anyways, I just want to pop on here really fast because I didn't do an intro for this grocery haul. This grocery haul is, um, I would say pretty much for the most part, a typical grocery haul. I didn't get quite a few things that I normally get because we had just had my son's fifth birthday party. So I didn't need to get water. I didn't need to get, um, what else was I missing? I didn't get like sandwich cheese, I don't think, because we had already had some because I also had cheese and sausage during the party. And I feel like I'm missing something else. Maybe I normally get like two bags of chicken and I only needed to get one this time. Like little things like that that I just, oh, my husband's Coke Zero and yeah, I want to I wanna say that's it. But anyways, this is a typical grocery haul week for us. Um, yeah, so if you guys want to see any of the recipes that I talked about in this, um, leave a comment down below. That way I know that you guys would like to see that. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching. Okay, so where to even start? Um, let's start over. We'll work our way from this section to this section. So um, honey wheat bread, this is like the number one kind of bread that I always get. I'm going to move some of the stuff stuff off of the counter and put it right behind me because there's just no room to go through all this and then I got some mango peach applesauce and some pear and then this spring mix for I definitely plan on using this for salads and then I'm also you're gonna see some of the ingredients for it but uh, Zupa Toscana was like my favorite soup it's like a um, an Olive Garden like dupe but the way I make it, it tastes so similar. I think I'm going to do a video on it because it's so good and I just, it's so good. So I do use some of this from there. Um, it, the recipe itself just calls for, um, I think, kale. But I use spinach or baby greens or whatever and it tastes literally just the same. But then I can use it for salads too. So I got one, two, three, four four packs of jasmine rice, and then two of the long grain. Um, and two of these loaves for bread. Um, for, brec or for lunch for Tony, I always make him like sub sandwiches. So I got two loaves of these for, the, for that. Spaghetti noodles, just, I don't even know that I plan on making this this week, but it's always good just to have on hand. Um, some seedless grapes. And then some Nutella. I haven't bought Nutella in forever, and it looks so good, so that one loaf of bread I got is not going to be enough. Not that I realize I have that. Hold on, baby. And then I have some Provel cheese. This is the best stuff ever. And then for Tony's breakfast, um, breakfasts, breakfasts, I plan on making him some um, little breakfast sandwiches. So I have these for that. And I have, this looks so good. And it's probably not even going to taste good. But it looks really good. Like, I'm really picky about my sweets, but that looks really good. Uh, some eggs, Oops. some eggs, some russet potatoes, and then for the boys for breakfast, this is seriously, Lainey, this is seriously like the easiest thing. I just do muffins a lot of the time for breakfast. So I have two of the lemon poppy seed, a blueberry, and a chocolate chip. They don't care for these kind as much, but I do, and... I don't know. I guess I put myself before them on that one. Okay, I'm gonna that away. Um, so this is going to be for the Zupa as well. So I just have heavy whipping cream. 
And I definitely plan on making chili. So I'll have some Brooks chili beans, some mild, and then the hot um, chili seasoning. And then some Rotel. Steamed um, broccoli, cauliflower, and carrots. And then just plain broccoli. Two cans of green beans. Two, two things of chicken broth. That's also for the Zupa. Some of this, I can't say it out loud or else someone will want it. And then some gala apples, a gallon of milk, a yellow onion, a sack of avocados. I have some bananas. I have some red onions. I saw this family's, okay, so I originally just had like the normal size of Ritz crackers and then I saw like in like one of the center island things that the family size was literally like 20 cents more than the other. So I guess it was on sale, but it, so, it seems so silly to just buy like a smaller one. So I got two of those. I have um, three zucchini. Or I guess, a, or I'm sorry, two zucchini and a squash. And then a sriracha, pickles, uh, Colby Jack, cheese, shredded cheese, bacon. We do this for the boys for school in the morning because I do not want them walking out of the house smelling like bacon. So when I make them eggs, I just do this in the microwave so that way they don't smell before school. Um, shake and bake because I have some pork chops over here. Um, this Johnson's beef sausage. We do this for lunch a lot with the crackers and then the cheese. And then I have a pound of sun dried uh, tomato turkey. And then I have some teriyaki chicken. And I like to get my lunch meat cut it in two because I just like it to be a little bit thicker sliced. Family size pretzel, chips, three of these waters. I love the strawberry and the wild cherry. The rest of them I really don't care for, but these ones are really good. And then coffee creamer, International Delight, the caramel macchiato kind. Um, my husband really likes the dark roast coffee, so I got the Colombian. And then this is my, like... There's, there's no coffee shops or anything that has coffee as good as this stuff. I love this so much. This Diwali uh, cold brew. Hold on, baby. Get down. Step down. And then I have a pound of ground beef. This Italian uh, hot sausage for the Zupa. Some pork chops. A bag of chicken. And then this is for my husband's breakfast sandwiches that I will make him. And then the kids have some Sunny D. I can't survive without Cherry Pepsi. Um, we have a family size Honey Nut Cheerios and then some Capri Sun. And I think, I think we got through everything. Yeah, that's it.